Welcome, I'm Dr. Glenn Nagel. And I'm uh, Colby Caldwell. We're here at Eclectic Institute today talking about freeze drying. And so we're going to demo a little bit of a freeze drying and the differences between freeze dried food and freeze dried herbs and air dry. So Dr. Caldwell, what do we have here today? Well, what we have here is uh, a setup that's going to allow us to go through the basics of freeze drying. Now freeze drying is one of the core technologies here at the Eclectic Institute where we are. And we use freeze drying to, uh, as, as, as a way of, of, of minimally processing our, our products. So, so the first step in freeze drying is having a high quality product, right? Something fresh. What happens then? That's right. So in the case of fresh fruits and vegetables and herbs, you take the freshest possible material you can find and you freeze it. And then <coughs> freeze drying is where you subject it to very low pressures. So when you put frozen fruits and vegetables into essentially a vacuum, then uh, the process of freeze drying will begin. And freeze drying re relies on a physical, not a chemical process, the physical process called sublimation. Sublimation, I've heard of that. So sublimation is, is, is shown on this chart here. And uh, very simply put, sublimation is the transition of uh, solid water to gaseous water without passing through a liquid mm -hmm. phase. A little bit like in Colorado, the snow would fall down in the winter, it'd land on the ground in the morning, the sun would come up, and the snow would disappear, but the sidewalk never got wet. That's, That's right. because the ice went from the ice to the vapor without ever entering the liquid phase. That's right, and the reason this is important to drying of fruits and vegetables and herbs is that when you have uh, ice going directly to a gas without passing through a liquid phase, then you can't ever have any chemistry or biology happening during the drying process because you see chemical reactions require liquid water as a solvent. And so by not allowing the water to be a liquid during the process of drying, you essentially preserve all of the enzymes, vitamins, phytochemicals that are, that are in the plant, uh, you preserve them perfectly uh, by removing the water through sublimation. So you're saying freeze drying might be the best way besides eating the fresh fruit of keeping it in a preserved form because it's like being in suspended animation. That the ingredients are all there waiting for the digestive enzymes, the water to be mixed with them. Certainly I would, I would say it's, it's one of the gentlest of all mm -hmm. processing methods. So right here on the countertop we, we have a couple things going. So we could start with something like this. This is a you know, beautiful ripe fresh mango. Something like this could be frozen and then when it comes out of the freeze drying, freeze drying happens in these tubes, we get this beautiful dry crunchy freeze dried powder. And so the beautiful thing about freeze drying is it leaves the structure intact. So that actually there's a cell structure left. It's a little bit like looking at something like this sponge. If we looked at a close-up of this sponge, we'd see all these air pockets in there. That would be where the water was removed in the freeze drying. And when you squeeze it, it actually has a fluffy nature. So all freeze dried powders have a much more fluffy nature, which is really one of the benefits of making them into, into products. We also have a little demo here about the nature of dried, air dried using heat, and freeze dried using frozen with the air sucked out. And so what we have here is cranberries. These are the famous dried cranberries. These are freeze-dried cranberries. And you can see the structure is beautiful, round. You can't even tell that's dry. But when I cut it in half, what do we, what do we see on the inside? Yeah, well you can see the sponge-like uh, texture of the inside of the fruit. And uh, the, more importantly than the color and shape uh, being preserved, also all of the, and this is known through many studies, all of the nutrients and vitamins and phytochemicals are preserved uh, through freeze drying in a way where uh, during air drying, which involves heat and water going through a liquid process, uh, you, you find degradation of some of these uh, more uh, fragile chemical compounds that exist in fresh produce. So we're eating fresh fruits and vegetables for their antioxidants and their vitamins and minerals and nutrients, uh, but they may not be preserved very well and other forms like using air dry or um, CO2 extracts and things like that, but this preserves them very well. Yeah. And this is a great living demo. It's, it's a raisin or a grape. Yeah, and you know, in freeze drying, it does not make a plant better. It just preserves it as close to fresh as possible. So it's a convenient way to eat fresh food in a dry form. That's right. It's exciting. <laughs>